little bit. Give me your perspective for the, the footballs that you had to throw in the Super Bowl. Right. Well, it'd get me in trouble here, but I I'd, I'd, I'd heard you talk about the wax on the balls. I'd heard Phil Sims talk about the wax on the ball. I heard Troy Aikman talk about it. Steve Young, every stinking quarterback playing that Super Bowl. So just so everybody knows real quick, it used to be if you were playing, I, I, if, I, if I was the home team, there was 12 footballs and you had to play with the 12 footballs we had. Then it became you had your 12, I had my 12, and then the kickers messed things up. So it was your 12, my 12, and then there's 12 other separate kicking balls. Long story. Well, once you get to the NFL Super Bowl, there's 108 balls, brand spanking new. After every play, each ball goes to a sponsor. They bring it right out of a Dick Sporting Good plastic bag and whatever sporting good you want, and it's slick. So when I watch baseball guys, they throw the ball back, and they don't like it. When I see a tennis guy, um, they, they don't like the ball. They throw it away, a puck in ice hockey. Well, Rich Gann and I, we did a milk mustache commercial on that, sad, on that Monday of the Super Bowl. We're both like, man, we're, we're scared to death about, you know, these balls being slick, and can't, I wish we could work them in like we should. You know, so I'd play with a glove the week before. So that week, uh, so some guys, they, they got the Super Bowl balls, okay? So every year I tip the equipment managers and all these guys for whatever we get, the shirts, the ball, working and everything. So I tip some guys some money. They worked in all 108 footballs, okay? <laughs> so it happened. So, but in the game, in the game, I warmed up with the glove because I'm like, I don't know if these balls have been worked in or not. So it took me a whole quarter to get the rosin off my hand and all that kind of stuff from wearing the glove. The balls were the balls were good, you know. So there were no problems for Rich or I. None of us complained about it. So then 10 years later, I, I talked about how I paid the guys to get the balls worked in. Well, then when I hold the flake gate and all that kind of stuff went down, who they this article, this one little print comes out in the article. Why? Next thing I know, I got ESPN, CNN, I got Japan, China, Canada, Australia calling my house. Okay? All of them. <laughs> my phone rang up. And you talk about getting tainted. My whole life got tainted. I'm like cheating. <laughs> like, how did I cheat? So my first phone call was to Rich Gannon. I'm like, Rich. Because I wasn't going, Rich, I'm going to pay these guys some money to work in the balls. Will you split it with me? Like, is that what we're doing? So, no. The balls got, the balls got worked in. We, I didn't complain. Rich didn't complain. I get slandered for the rest of my life for cheating. And I did. I, I felt, Trent, I felt like I should get reimbursed by the NFL for doing their job. <laughs> somebody somebody pay me back. I'd give them my social security number, you know? So... <laughs> It was unbelievable. But now they all work in the balls. They're perfect. Both people, they get to touch them. And, I mean, it's crazy. crazy. So that's it's what, unbelievable. That's it, I have oh, no. literally no bitterness for my career except that, again, yeah. that I had to throw these crappy <laughs> balls. A hundred. I was telling Goff, the first throw of the game, we have a swing round. And I can vividly remember going, getting it, and my fingers are on the giant NFL Super Bowl logo. Yeah. That's yeah. like it's slick. It's silicone, basically. And the ball slips out of my hand. I couldn't throw anything hard. I don't think I threw a ball hard the whole game because you just didn't feel confident yeah. gripping it. And now they're now these things are like earthy Perfect. brown by the time the guys play with them. There's no orange on it. All the wax, they've peed on them. They've rubbed the mud on them. They've thrown them in the dryer. <laughs> they've done all the tricks to make them perfect. Yeah. I'm like, it's just 21 years ago. Why couldn't they have figured yeah. this out earlier? Yeah. <laughs> I think the number one thing that 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 threw me and and was that they replace a ball every play, or or as often as they can. You know, if you're in no huddle and the ball's on the field, they won't. If that ball goes out of bounds or it's incomplete or a runner runs out of bounds, that ball's out of the game. And unless you have a hundred balls that are scrubbed in ready to go, there's going to be some balls that aren't aren't up to your standard and and and. You know, again, I, I would imagine Tom has this has the program dialed. He got a, he got a hundred balls up to a standard, and, and we did the best we could. But there was times where you know you have some footballs that, as the game goes on, those footballs break in. There's sweat, there's dirt, there's you know fingers, you know those oils get are getting into this football, and you're getting some you know some new footballs sometimes. And and I, and I thought you know in the biggest game of your life, in the biggest game of the season, they're willing to sacrifice you know something that is so standard to every other game for uh you know whatever merchandise or, or balls to go donate whatever um that was that was kind of the most like shocking 
thing that are stamped different. Let, let me right. let me let me pile on right. this a little bit because I don't want anybody to think that Jared's making an excuse. This is a real thing. Real. I have even worse experience. They didn't take the wax off our balls. Oh, so boy. my first, the first, I don't know, ten throws of that Super Bowl, I'm throwing a waxy stamped different. Isn't that crazy? Like it's crazy. The biggest, the biggest game of your life. They got the wrong balls out there. And you see, there's been so many bad quarterback performances in the Super Bowl from guys you don't see it coming from.